guys and welcome to the update for the 5th of February 2013. Now this week there's actually been a fair amount in the news and as always I will bring you the news, tell you what's going on and bring you up to date. Firstly, and I think really is the main news this week really, Sony have called a press conference and they've invited the press to New York City for an event on the 20th of February. They haven't said what it's for, they've just said that they want you to see the future. Now everyone, and to be honest quite rightly, is assuming that this is going to be the PlayStation 4 announcement. Now it's rumoured to have an AMD CPU and an AMD GPU. Uh, obviously it's rumoured so we don't really want to speculate too much because it doesn't matter that much really. We're just wait and, wait and see, There's not, it's not really that exciting guessing what there's going to be in it because it's not going to be as good as we can get on a PC now so it doesn't really matter. And it matters to us PC gamers plainly because at the moment when they design games they're designing it to work you know, fantastically well on really old hardware, the PS3 and the Xbox 360, both quite old. So once the new ones are out it's going to mean that the PC is going to get, well in theory, better quality games because the lowest common denominator is suddenly a lot higher up the tables and the PC can get even higher because it's not going to... things like texture scaling and things um, it's all going to work a lot nicer from now on. In other news, and quite interesting news really, um, is that the Mac Pro is being discontinued in Europe as from March the 1st. Now this isn't them discontinuing the Mac Pro or anything like that it's, they say it's down to EU safety standards and as from a new ruling coming in from March the 1st they will no longer be able to sell any new Mac Pros, they'll be able to sell off existing stock but they won't be able to like, sell, any, sell any more to the retailers so does this mean that there's a new Mac Pro coming soon? I would assume yes there's no plans for the Mac Pro to seize production as far as we know there's no reason to them, they still sell, they don't sell amazingly well but people that buy them, they're not really going to want anything else. Um, this has prompted me to make a Mac versus PC video that will be up later this week. Very interesting. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, if you don't know, my background is actually about 50-50 Mac, 50-50 PC. So I'm very unbiased, so keep an eye out and have a look on that video when it comes out. If you want one you can put an order in before the 18th of February and you'll be able to get your hands on one or you can just go into a store and if they've still got one then you can buy one no problem. Um, but obviously this does mean that we're likely to see a Mac Pro refresh later this year which should be good for you Mac users out there or anyone that's looking to buy a Mac. News for us over here in the UK and that is that 3 have announced pricing for their new 4G services that will come out later this year and it's very good news indeed. Free. Well, when I say free, it means that they are going to charge no more money. Their current plans are not 3G plans, their current plans are internet plans. So if you buy a 4G phone, uh, get a SIM card that allows you to get 4G, then fine. As long as you're paying for an internet, it's not going to cost you any more. So if you're on something like the One plan, then you're still going to, and you upgrade your phone, then you're going to get 4G, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. They say that there's no fee at all to upgrade um, your plan, so if you're on a 3G plan you can just get 4G as soon as you get a new phone, which is absolutely fantastic. This does of course mean that EE are going to be a bit upset about this because their plans are ridiculously expensive, but they were the only company that offers 4G services at the moment here in the UK. Um, so keep an eye out, and if you're looking to get a new phone, I would hold off and wait and get like a Lumia 920 or an iPhone 5 or, in, or a Samsung Galaxy S3 or anything with 4G later this year on 3 because that's looking to be a very good deal but of course the other phone providers are not going to be very happy about this and I'm going to have to compete because I don't know many people that would buy from EE over 3 when they're going to be this cheap so if you're looking to get a new phone or upgrade your phone keep an eye out and I'll bring you more information nearer the time AMD have announced their Never Settle Reloaded campaign. Now this last year was very successful and what this is is it makes you buy a new graphics card from AMD because if you buy a new graphics card from AMD you're going to get some great games. Now Nvidia did something similar but it wasn't quite so good. You got like Borderlands 2 I think it was with one of their games. But it used to be a case of you buy 
a new graphics card and you'd get like Dirt 2 and obviously that's six years old which or however old it is um, but great you get Dirt 2 but they often, the point is they often give you games that you don't really want but AMD they're bringing what they did last year back and it's back with a vengeance and some even better games now there are six total games you can get but if you buy a 7800 series then you'll get Bioshock Infinite Tomb Raider and Far Cry 3 with your card, so that'll be the 7850 and the 7870, so that's very good indeed, three games. If you buy a 7850 you could get, um, a, like I say, a one gigabyte um, card for about 100 and something quid. I mean that's not far off the RRP for all three games, all three games set you back 90 quid, so you know if you are, were going to buy those games anyway, you're looking very very cheap. Um, if you buy a 78 90 series, no, if you buy a 7990 series, sorry about that, um, then you get two games, you get Crisis 3 and Bioshock Infinite, which for me seems like, you know, the raw end of the deal, that doesn't seem quite so good, but, yeah, there you go, that's AMD for you, um, but if you buy two 7900 series cards, so the 7950 or the 7970, uh, then you get all four of those games, so you get Crisis 3, Bioshock Infinite, Tomb Raider and Far Cry 3 but you also get Sleeping Dogs and you also get Hitman Absolution uh, with those games or if you buy a 7990 then you get all six games as well so this is actually very good, it would entice me to buy an AMD card and whether you're looking high end or lower end then this could very well sway you, um, it would you know, sway me because a lot of the time, apart from price, there's not that many, not much difference in the sort of frames because once they come out, they kind of find their place in the market and adjust price accordingly. So if one card's better than the other, then it will be priced higher than the other one because obviously they want to compete. So this is a, looking like a good deal. And if you are looking to upgrade your graphics card, which if you have got, you know, a graphics card from a few years ago, then you probably should be. Um, then this is going to be very, very good for you. Now there was one other news story this week and that was that the Halo games have appeared on the Steam library in the Steam database um, that someone has found and you know everyone was thinking including myself that this is good news because it might mean that the Halo trilogy not Halo 4 but you get Halo 3 uh, they'll all be coming to Steam but it's been debunked unfortunately and Microsoft has spoken out to Eurogamer and they've said that unfortunately they have no plans to bring the Halo series to Steam. Um, there was a couple other games listed such as Fez which makes sense, hopefully Fez will come to the PC. They said it's going multi-platform so um, hopefully Fez will come but unfortunately not the Halo games. Well that pretty much wraps it up for this week in news. As I said I've got my Mac versus PC video coming out soon. Um, keep an eye out for that. I think I make quite a good argument but you know, you have to watch and find out. As I said, I'm not really that biased to either one, so I can give a good opinion, but it's an opinion, and no matter what's, who you are, you're always going to have an opinion. No, one's, no one really would buy both. Maybe me. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it for the video later this week. So thank you for watching the update. Thank you to all you, know, all you people, lovely people, to keep watching. You know, you keep the camera, you keep the camera rolling, not that it's a film camera. But, um, you know, big thank you to watching, it does really help, and thank you for that. Um, but until next time, I will see you next time.